Hey, good afternoon guys. Uh, welcome back to DIY Willie. And today, uh, it's a beautiful day again in San Diego. Um, 4th of July, hope everybody's having a safe one. Yeah, I've got some suspenders on. They go for my back support. Kind of hurt my back last week. Uh, don't really know what I did, but it hurt. So, uh, I'm closing your eyes door. Hopefully you can't really hear Spike that much, but I know I can hear him right now. So he may come up on the, on the recording, on the video. So, uh, so today we're gonna work on the mini bikes again. Uh, I do have some more car projects going uh, going on or ready to go, but I'm waiting for some parts. So um, until those parts come, I'm gonna fill the video for the week with a mini bike video. So let's take a look at what we're gonna work on. Today we're looking at the little 79cc mini bike. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, please go back and check them out. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description to one or two of them and uh, it's been fun it's been really fun working on it and putting it together uh, it's a really common thing that people build a lot of the same parts you know same engine same work done to the engine but hey you know every every project has its own little taste its own little flavor that they add to it and uh, this well this one's mine so today I want to work on the carburetor I know we can change the carburetor on these little 79 cc's and uh and get the power up a little bit i've already got the torque converter on the other side you know i've added the the different air filter style so it's breathing better it's got a better flowing exhaust so it, it you know it, it's breathing better all around now it does have a little flat spot when you give it gas not that bad i can deal with it but it's because of the the intake and exhaust you know it needs to be jetted it needs to be tuned for that uh, extra flow so uh i don't have the specific jets they're a different size than your your normal you know the gx200 or 212s or your predators or whatever you know they're a little different jet and i can buy drills and drill these jets out but you know why do that it's easy enough just to put a different carburetor on there so uh taking a look at mighty mighty uses a makuni uh slide uh slide style carburetor and uh you know, it's a VM22, I believe, and it works great for this style engine. I think this would be a little bit too much for the uh, for the 79cc. I know they do make a 19mm uh, that would work on the 79cc, and I do have one. It's on my lawnmower project I have, and I could take it off and put it on the 79cc, but I, you know what, I don't want to do that. And I've got a couple carburetors that are for the 212s, you know, the GX uh, Honda Clone style motors. I've got a couple carburetors from that and I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if I can put it over here install it and uh, make it work uh, at first I'm gonna leave the governor linkage on because I don't want to mess with the governor I don't want to blow the little engine up yet you know I like to make it last as long as it can and I know the flywheel is a is a vulnerable piece on these engines I have a new billet flywheel already i'm just not ready to take the engine apart remove the governor and install the fly the bill of flywheel because you do have to remove the governor when you put the bill of flywheel on because the governor pin mount is in the way behind the flywheel so I'm, I'm not ready to do that yet today even though i would like to i'm not going to do that i'm going to go ahead and put the new carburetor on it make a new rod for the carburetor and leave the governor intact so I know it kind of defeats the purpose of having a better carburetor and more fuel and all that kind of stuff but it, I think it's what it'll do is I think it will take away the flat spot and we'll get a little better acceleration out of the motor and it will still govern it at 3600 or, or thereabouts and um, that can be tweaked a little bit I guess but I, I, you know what I don't care at the moment I do have the other parts to remove the governor and and the bill of flywheel but um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna make a manifold and install the carburetor and I want to use this air cleaner I don't want to use the big air cleaner so I'll probably have to take the mount for the other one and um, either make a new one like this one has this has a cheapy one either make one like this has or take one of the other ones and and grind it down for this uh, air filter to match but um yeah let's uh, take a look at that new carburetor so here's what I got I bought this carburetor for a, another project uh, for a friend of mine whose carburetor has gone bad and uh, it was for a CT200 and he never he never brought it by. So I think I'll go ahead and try this on this mini bike on the 79cc and uh, it'll be a little bit bigger carburetor a little bit bigger jet. 
Um, might have to make the jets smaller. Might have to buy smaller jets. I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with it. It might be perfect. I uh, have to make a manifold for it to go on. But, um, yeah. Just going to take a look at it. It comes with a filter. I think there's a, there's a few gaskets, a hose, and a choke in there. We can use all of that. Let's see. This is a nice piece. There's a nice carburetor. It's got the adjustments here. I've never used one of these. I've never adjusted them, so we'll have to figure that out. And uh, it won't be that bad. I think it'll go in place pretty well. The, the throttle should all work the same. You know, it's got a fuel cutoff right here with the adapt with the air filter adapter. It'll work the choke. So I'm not really worried about it. I just have to make the uh, adapter from this side, larger size to the smaller size there. And I'll make a I'll make a flange. That bolts to the block over there. I'll come up with some tube and then I'll make a flange that'll bolt up to this, weld it all together, and we should be good to go. All right, so uh, let me get this one off and see what we got. <laughs> I hope this works. I guess I didn't realize just how small that opening was for this carburetor. You know, I seen this side and I figured, oh, that's fine. But take a look at that. Man, that is tiny. That's no bigger than my finger. Oh no, I hope I can do this. I mean, just in comparison, <laughs> just in comparison, look at that. Maybe this won't work after all. It's worth a shot, right? It's fun. I guess I'll try it. It's fun to make the manifolds. And uh, it might work, but uh, it might also uh, have too much fuel and too much air and not want to run at all, just bog. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna give it a shot and try it. I took the 10 millimeter bolts off, took my air filter adapter off, and uh, had to clutch, take the clutch, or, or excuse me, had to take the governor arm off to get the linkage to come apart easily. And uh, well, I'm gonna make a, a uh, adapter that fits here. I have to take these studs out, make an adapter that fits here. And I'll put bolts in, put the adapter, and the adapter will be this flange on the outside because this is not the same. It's a little bit wider pattern. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> now that I see how small that little hole is, I don't know if it's gonna work, but you know what, we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a shot. We'll try to lean it out if we have to. Maybe we'll have to run with the choke on a little bit. I don't know. I can always go back to the old one. And if it is too much, I'll, well, I'll get a 19 millimeter carburetor and give it a shot. But after I change the flywheel. <laughs> That's funny how small that is. All right, let me build that manifold. Like that. Okay, I got it finished. The carburetor's on. I had to make a new uh, a new throttle rod. Had to add a spring. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. All right, so here you go. There's the manifold I made. That bolts to the, to the small flange of the engine. Then has the larger flange of like the 212 or the GX200, whatever, whatever carb this is for. Uh, I got the fuel cut off here. I'm using the large air filter right now. I didn't want to, but I don't want to have to take time to uh, machine down the adapter to fit the smaller air filter. So just for this one on there for now. Uh, it looks really good, good and firm. Sticks out a little bit more than I want it to, but it really doesn't get in the way. I think if I were to do it again, I'd put a curve in it so the carburetor would be back here. But I wanted to keep it kind of straight in line like that for the throttle rod because, uh, you know, it's quite a bit different. It's a little longer and uh, 
yeah I wanted to keep that line right there for the for the throttle to work if I would have moved it around to this side the rod would have acted kind of weird it may still would have worked but it would have acted kind of weird uh, more so than it does right now so uh, this is what I got and uh, yeah uh, spoiler alert I did start it and it runs but I haven't taken it for a ride yet but uh, let's just hear it all right Like I said, it's very responsive. Uh, it doesn't have that flat spot anymore that it had with the uh, smaller carburetor. <laughs> I really like it. I know there's some more fine tuning that needs to be done, uh, but for now, well, it works. And uh, I call it successful. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to DIY Willie. Check out some of my other mini bike videos, uh, my mini bike playlist. I think it's a mega moto playlist. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for coming, and uh, looking at this beautiful mini bike here, it's really coming along, it's grown so much in just the few weeks I've been working on it. So like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and uh, come check out these mini bikes. We work on small ones like this, and big ones like that. Alright guys, thank you, I'll see you next time.